everybody, it's Pam at the Paper Outpost. Uh, here we're using up some more book pages. Got super duper inky fingers ready to rock and roll here. Let's get to it. Okay, so today we're going to be doing some collage work and we're just going to be using up the pile of scraps that we all have. Tons of little bits and bops and, and pieces of paper that we've been working with. Don't know what to do with. Let's use them. Okay, so basically what I did was I took, uh, I had this page, um, it's decorated on the back, it has a little sky scene, but on this side it was completely white. And I, I wanted to use it in my journal, but I didn't want to put in a white page, so I decided just to collage uh, the white side, and that's a great way to use up your book page scraps. And all these little things came from book pages. So we've got numbers and words and font and, and little uh, botanical drawings and butterfly wings and all sorts of stuff. So very fun. Here's another example. Got flowers and Edith Holden and little black and white botanical drawings. Little birdie boo. Wallpaper. That's wallpaper. Um, okay, that's not technically a book page, but you know, hey, it was on my desk. Okay. Third example. Okie dokie. See how you can use different things. All right. And these are just some blank ones that I, these are like the bases that I would be starting with. And I thought I'd show you, oh, come here papers. Got everything so organized to show you guys. Okay, so here's an example of a regular page that has prettiness on one side and whitey white on the other side, nothing there. And here's an example of a page. It's a college rule page that I uh, coffee dyed, um, but it's a, very, it's a very thin paper. And sometimes uh, we prefer a thicker paper and by collaging, you add thickness and that gives your, your pages a little bit more heft, especially if you're gonna be gluing pockets and things onto them that might, so the pages might have to bear some weight. So let's get to it, a very easy process, easy peasy. Um, okay, now I think we're, we're in screen there. Okay, let me know if I'm not, okay? Because I can't see the camera now. <laughs> I'll check periodically. All right, I'll try not to move too much. All right, so here we have the white page, the dreaded white page. And the idea was this is gonna become a folded page in my journal, okay? So thinking that I have two, a page here and a page here, keeping that in mind for design. So basically what I'm gonna do is I am going to glue stick this baby and I'm just going to run around the world running 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 okay and then I'm just going to cover as much as I can with the glue stick oh oh scrapey sound sounds like fingernails on a chalkboard okay there we go got a little more glue stick rolling here there we go okay and I have pre-torn for your pleasure I just grabbed a pile of uh, book pages, tore them all apart. Some are uh, images, some are wording. There's some white pages. There's some creamy vanilla colored pages just for variety. And let's get to it. So what we do here is you can think or you cannot think about how to do this. And I prefer, I prefer the half a think. So I'm, my only think in this is really, I just want uh, nice contrasts next to each other. So maybe I'll have a, uh, image next to some font and maybe then I'll have some font I don't know next to some more font because there's really no thinking I guess I'm back on the no thinking trend all right and you, you can use completely different random I mean nothing has to make sense with these uh, because remember this is background this is like um, uh, what's her name? Lori Marie Jenkins Jenkins says your underpants yeah I love that expression put on your underpants people put on your underpants all right, so I got two there. No, that's what they say. I think this, somebody wrote 1918 on there. Ooh, that's gotta be special. We'll go put that in there. Okay, and what do we got, what do we got? Okay, let's uh, do one of these. Okay, random, they can be right side up, upside down. See that, Ho hokey pokey, going smoky here. Doesn't matter. Um, let's put this, what is that on the other side? Oh, that's like major butterfly color. But um, yeah, okay, we'll do that. Oh, okay. That's super sticky glue. All right. I know. I know that moved. Let me check my camera. There we go. We're pretty much in there. Okay. And a couple more pieces and we'll be done. Z do. Okay. And, uh, okay. There we go. 
All right, so that wasn't so hard, right? That was pretty easy. And if you, you can overlap them just a little bit and that actually adds to the uh, texture of your page. Um, now you're gonna say, well, wait a minute, they're all gonna be like not stuck and I gotta go back and glue all those in. But wait, well, I'll show you a little trick which makes it a little easier. But first, we're going to trim the edges. And normally I would put this over on my cutting mat and use my, uh, whoops, oh, good and gracious. I would use my, uh, mat and uh, ruler and thingy, but I want to keep it in camera frame. So I'm going to, oh geez, I'm going to paper cut. Okay, I have a good line to follow here. I can do this. I can do this. I can cut the straight line. I can. You got to tell yourself that as you're cutting. Yes, I can cut a straight line. I have the ability. It is within me now. Okay, almost done. Very easy. Nothing complicated. Anybody can do it. Okay, there we go. All right, we have all those little pieces. So just save those off to the side because you might be able to use something from there. Okay, so we have this. And, you know, what is up and down is totally up to you. And um, I'm going to use it this way just because. And the next part is we're going to pop on some little decorations on the surface of it. So now we go for the hunt. And this is kind of the fun part. You take a look at your pile of scraps. And you can even look at these little guys and stuff and see what you have. But let's do the bigger ones first. And I'm just going to, I'm going to pull out some like random things I have here. It's all like random, like random stuff. And uh, I thought this guy's kind of pretty. So I was going to tear him out or maybe use part of him. And oh, I, I got to show you something. I hope you're going to be so proud of me with this because I really, I really tried. And uh, what I did was I color coded my stampers so I don't cross pollinate my ink. And thank you very much for all the wonderful ideas you guys gave me. I can't believe how many great ideas you guys came up with. And obviously you saw there was a need. <laughs> and uh, yes, yes, there was a need. And uh, I, uh, I, I rose to the occasion and um, I made them. So let's see how that works. Um, okay, so here is, I'm just gonna go with brown, nice neutral color. Uh, this is uh, walnut ink, okay. I'm using the brown one. See, see, it's brown. <laughs> this is just an embroidery thread, I think it is. Um, you know, embroidery threads, there's so much you can do with those. You can use them for tag, little ends and stuff like that, or um, you can sew your signatures with them. You can identify your inkers with them. And uh, we'll see how long these stay on. If they stay on and they don't move, I guess I could put a drop of glue there, but um, we'll try that. But thank you, thank you, thank you for all your ideas. And I, I, I do appreciate that you saw the need of the lunatic over here do, trying to do this um, and, and <laughs> mucking up her ink pads. Um, you know, it's funny. Uh, I've got like a bajillion ink pads of different colors. You know how you go through the craze of, oh my God, I gotta have every color known to mankind. And you use four. You know, I really, honestly, I, I, probably five. I use black, always, you know, brown, uh, green, blue, well, maybe six. Uh, I lost count already. Uh, and uh, like a pink. And that's pretty much it. And I just go around the robin with that. Sometimes I use different shades. Um, I got to remember to pull some different ones out. Okay, so here, you know, you just got to kind of remember that if your signature is going to be cut there, uh, where you want to put something like this. And that's totally up to you. There's no right or wrong place to put it. I just say, put it down. Put it down. Okay, there. One done. All right. Now, what else is on this page? Okay, we got that little gizmo there. So, but he's torn and he doesn't look right. He's not a whole picture. It's okay. It's okay because collage is sort of uh, about letting the brain fill in the missing pieces. And um, that's what I tell myself when I'm trying to use up my scraps. And uh, now we can go around and do this. Now I'm going for, obviously you're guessing this, the white contrasting against the vanillas and the, and the greens and these lovely other colors in here. And yes, you would be absolutely right. I'm going for contrast. And you don't, you can go for the same. Um, I don't know why I'm using this glue. I said I was gonna use, no, no, I am gonna use this glue. This is the art glitter glue. And I'm gonna use this glue because it's, it's, it's got this little tip on the end, which makes only a little weeny bit come out and this blue glue bottle lasts forever. So if you're going to invest in something in the world, this would be a good thing to invest in, or at least that little end tip. But you know what? You don't have to have any fancy uh, glue to do this stuff. I mean, Elmer's will work, you know, glue sticks will work. Everything works. Um, 
what else okay so we have that we have that now i wanted to show you how you can still use um, fonts and things like that which actually kind of make it cool so let me just find some fonty pages uh anything anything pam okay here we go what's that that's fine fonty all right so i'm just going to randomly tear something here about the pygmy cormorant see somebody else will get to read about the a little piece about what the pygmy cormorant is about and they will be you know enlightened by their bird knowledge they can wow their friends at thanksgiving and christmas and you know tell great stories about the pygmy cormorant well, very, it's going to be a very short story about the pygmy cormorant. But, um, you know, that's, that's what life's all about. you got to bring a good story to the Thanksgiving dinner, you know. And here, here's yours. Feel free to use it. I don't mind. I don't mind. Okay. Here we go. We're going to put this. We're going to put this like here. Okay. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So as we're going for the different uh, color paper, different font size, different style, contrasts, gives you a uh, definition, difference. You can do little pictures, big pictures, doesn't matter what do I have here. I have some cool little uh, animal images here. Let me throw a, a little cutie. Oh, you're eating a big juicy ugly worm. I don't think that's going to go over well at the, oh, you're eating a big bug. Oh, okay, no, maybe not at, not at Thanksgiving dinner. Okay, we are going to show you, because you are cutie cute. And this one has a little writing on it where some wonderful birding person uh, actually wrote down when they saw this guy. That would be cool. I wish I was there. I love birds. And uh, I am going to sh give homage to this bird watcher by forever immortalizing this little owl on this paper. And uh, use up this scrap forevermore. All right, we put you here. Okay, so now the trick I wanted to explain to you is that when we put these little images overlaying like that, what they do is they tack down all these loose little guys that stick up, so it makes it much easier to contain your page. And if you have any few little extra like tippies at the end that you want to tack down, this is a great thing to go in there and, and tack those down with. So let's do something that makes no sense like this. Yeah, this is awesome. Here's part of that chandelier, the everlasting chandelier of chandeliers. Um, uh, irregular shapes, regular shapes, doesn't matter. Oh, notice when you, I don't know, you're gonna, you tear the paper that way, you see the white edge, but if you tear this way, there's no white edge. Just know that so when you're tearing, um, it's, I, I, for some reason I thought it was always one way or the other. If you tear with the right hand, you always get this or you always get that, but apparently it's the way the paper is made because I've tried different ones and I, I, unless it's just me, but I found that you gotta tear a little first to see which way you're gonna get the, the white the white edging showing and sometimes the white edging is nice and it also picks up the uh, the uh, ink extremely well when you're inking as we like to ink all right so and also you can you can like touch another thing okay like like maybe that okay you can do that it doesn't have to be like these isolated islands they can touch and overlap and do fun things and uh, let's try some more font here's something what's this okay it's that, it's that thing again. Why does it keep showing up on my paper? I need to get a different page. Here's something about a canary. Let's use that. Yeah. Canary and cannibalism. Sure, that goes together well. Let's do that one. It's interesting. Something fun for the, the person to look at. It's like, ah, canaries and cannibalism. I never put those two together before. That's interesting. Let me learn a little snippet about that. A very little snippet. And... Uh, these are kind of big, actually. I should use smaller ones. That's okay. I'm using a big one because we're learning something new on the fly as we go. Okay, what does it look like when you, when you use big ones? All right, let's do this one here. There. Okay. So I'm kind of going, see how it's like this way, that way, this way, that way, that way, that way, like different directions. Keep it more interesting for the eye. You can do them all uniform. That's a different uh, design style. But here I'm, I'm going as if... A giant bird came along, ate all my paper, and then vomited the little pictures on top. And that is going to give us our random design. Yes. I, you're going you're gonna to have that image in your mind all night now, and it's going to be my fault. <laughs> I, uh, uh, oh, here's so okay. Here's interesting little baby font. But then we have a little baby map. Which one should I do? Which one should I do? Let's do the baby map. All right. Tear, tear. Tear, tear, tear. 
No, no pre-thinking how good the tear is. This is just random using up those little bits and pieces that are all over your desk. If you don't even migrate off your desk and just say, okay, I'm just going to blast out five of these pages for my next journal and I'm only, I'm only going to use up what's on my desk, you're going to have major progress. Yes, life is going to be like singing the good song in your world because um, you're going to have a clean desk and life is good. Okay. Do I want more? Do I want more? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. I found this from an old Edith Holden page sitting on my desk. Got a butterfly. Gonna use up the butterfly just for fun. All right. Give her a life of her own here. And you know what? I'm not even going to worry about it. Whether one has a straight edge, one has a ruffled edge. We're just going because sometimes when you ink, the blessed ink hides all ills. Look at that. That's so cutie, cute, cute. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. We're going in. We're not thinking too much about it, but we're just thinking where we're going to put it. Okay. How about here? No, we want to go like, like, okay, there. Yeah. Okay. Now he's not like not going in the same direction as everybody else. And let's do a couple more. Are we in frame? I hope so. Just for fun. And what do we got? What do we got? Let's do something that makes no sense. All right. See this, this is like what, there's nothing there that goes here. There's no like nature stuff. Okay. You got a fake tree in the background, but that's not all great, but it, sometimes it doesn't matter about what is there. It's just about the, um, the different color or the different texture. Uh, you've got, you've got freedom with this. This is called, uh, like random brain dump. Just, it's also called cleaning up the desk. And it's also called, um, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying it all. That's what I would like to call it. And it's called collage and it's called artistic design. And it's called, it's, I can't even see my desk anymore. And I have to do this because that's what I got to do. Okay. We're going to put this. Okay. There <laughs> the big decision, right? Okay, so um, we have this and now um, what I would like to do around the outside is I'm going to ink it up. What a shocker. Ink it ink. Here we go. And that just kind of gives it a nice little uh, cohesive, pulls the whole scene together. And I'm imagining in my mind the page folded in half. So I'll fold it so you can kind of get an idea of, oh, look, see, we need some glue there. Okay. And that was probably the, that's the side I finished on. So my, my glue stick was already drying down there. So we will quickly repair that after we inky dinky 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 dink. All right. Okay. Good. Good. We're done. And we're repairing. Are we in? Yep. We're in. All right. A quick line of this tacks that baby down. That'll hold. And now I'm going to do the check. Okay. Here's the check to see where stuff's coming apart. Okay. Maybe a little here. Not too bad there. Oh, okay. A little there. All right. Not too bad there. Maybe something there. Okay. So I think I know where my, my little issue areas are. So I'm just going to go in there with a little quick little dab, stick her down. And this little nubber, this, I call this a nubber. This little nubber is so handy because you can get into these little tiny spaces and just put a little weeny teeny bit of glue in there. And that just holds down all the little issues. So you don't have them. And, uh, what else? Oh, oh, you know what? I had two pages here. Look at that. Look at, I'm double using up book pages faster than normal because I'm cheating. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> oh, here comes my little guy. Oh, you must be hungry. You're digging in my stuff. Okay. Yeah, it is getting close to his dinner time. All right. But I promised I was going to get this to you and show you this uh, idea because I feel a little guilty that I've covered your desks in book page pieces and I'm committed to help you clean those up. So, okay. So let's fold this and see where we're at. How many minutes are we? Okay. Oh man, we're no. Oh, okay. That's not so bad. All right. I thought it said 30 minutes. I'm like, man, I haven't talking that long. Okay. A um, little bit more here so you can kind of see what where the pull is. You digging in the boxes? Yeah, okay. All right, so there we go. I mean, pretty easy. Let me show you the others again. And you could use each one of these as your center of your signature for some pizzazz and color, or you could use it as the outside of a collection of 
uh, sig like a signature could fit in here with all your different pages as one. This could be the cover of the signature itself. And you could even make this a book cover if you wanted to possibly Mod Podge over the whole thing. So it would adhere really well all the way down and um, it would give it a sealant on it. So uh, people's hands wouldn't, uh, you know, if they're wet or they have, uh, you know, Cheeto grease on them or something like that, uh, wouldn't be a problem. So here's the blanky blanks. I've still got those to do. Here's our examples. We have uh, this one, we have this one, and we have today's Mostel piece. There you go. So a quick, easy way to blow through some more book pages. I hope you liked it. Everybody take care. Have a marvelous day. And uh, uh, see, I'm hoping I even changed the stubs. Even this one. This one is just clean from today. So there we go. Please like, subscribe, and share, and uh, enter our my... Um, thousand subscriber giveaway contest the drawing is on october 31st halloween and um i'm still working on my journal almost done almost done you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna stick some just because i have this sitting here i have a uh, bow bunny glitter paste and i'm gonna oh this is gonna be a disaster i'm gonna use my finger um i know i shouldn't do that okay let me, let me see oh my god there's so much on here well let's just, just do this and see what happens okay this is totally up to you i know people have feelings about glitter um I'm going to see if this stuff flakes off or not. I've never used this before, so I don't want anybody to end up with a lap full of glitter. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. There you have it, peeps. I um, hope you're having a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.